Hey guys, welcome back to Zach Blog. We bought a sailboat. This is a Siren 17. Uh, as you can see, I'm in the cabin right now. It's got a, it technically sleeps four. Uh, it's got the V berth and two quarter berths here. One here, one here. Uh, it was in pretty decent shape. There's a few things that need to be fixed up. Uh, new light system on it. Needs lots of sanding and paint. Uh, but really good structurally. Um, yeah, I'm re currently sending out a bunch of repairs here. And I'm gonna... Um, fix those because they were done with a putty. A weird putty. I'm gonna actually re-glass them. This is a fiberglass boat, so... Uh, and then... Yeah, then there's lots of sanding to do. Well, painting... And she'll be nice. Chipping out all these terrible old repairs. And this one, there's just so much jammed in there that it'll never even match up. I have to grind a channel between there, fill it in with glass. This will all be good again pretty soon. Dude, whoever did all the repairs on this used this weird putty shit. It's terrible. I'll get her all glassed up and she'll be good as new. Eventually she'll be better than new. And same in here. That's where all the water's leaking from the uh, cockpit into the cabin. It's easy enough fix. Sharp over it and I'm gonna fix it over the next few days while it rains. days later now uh, and I've been keeping an eye on the weather and it's not looking like I'm gonna get out sailing again this year so I'm gonna try to do several little repairs in here uh, like that piece of wood up front uh, this part somebody like stomped this or something uh, I'm gonna fill in all these little holes that they had the trim on here. I've got some trim coming in the next couple of days. Um, I think that's pretty much well. And I'm gonna tear off all the hardware, and I guess I'm gonna just take some regular silicone and seal up all the little holes. And then in the spring. I'm going to reinstall and bed the hardware properly after I sand and paint. Um, yeah. So I gotta, and then in a few days I gotta take, uh, take this, drop it in the water and winterize the motor and stuff. And then I guess I put her in storage for the winter. Yeah. So, I'm just going to tear the hardware off the mast and stuff like that and get myself a little more room to work in here and then back to it. Okay, so <laughs> right up here in the bow we got this piece of wood that's totally rotten out. Oh, well, you guys can see um, up here, uh, what's this doing? Eh? Eh? That doesn't seem to help. Yeah, up here it seems pretty solid, but I'm gonna take the whole piece out. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna figure out this taper, and I realized I could just take a square piece as wide as the top, shove it in there, and like, this is 90 degrees all the way up so it'll fit in there and then I just have to flatten out one side and just make a couple marks where it ends here and a couple marks up here where it'll end 
and uh, draw a line between those and that's where I cut. Theoretically, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so working on a few things at once, kind of, because I want to do all the epoxying, or uh, fiberglassing, sorry, using polyester res resin. I want to do all the fiberglassing at the same time, and I want to have this kind of ready to go at the same time as well. I got that piece out. I'm kind of bracing this up to get these to match up. Uh, this isn't permanent. Turns out I'm not going to be able to walk around in here. So every time I step, it moves around. Uh, the same with when I step out there, that one moves. So I gotta. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gotta come up with an idea for this. And then up here, uh, I'm gonna pull that plate off out front. Uh, you can't see it because of the weight balance. Uh, I'm gonna pull that plate off on the front. And, uh, oh, okay, that's a nice actual plate. Not two random plates. Okay, but uh, I'm gonna take that off and epoxy in those holes as well and put tape over them just like I have that hole where the light was I'm gonna just hope the epoxy sets it's a two hour epoxy and it's like 14 degrees right now so I should be able to get that to set um, I'm gonna work on this I'm just gonna take a piece of 2x4 uh, that's all that was in there before I'm gonna take my planner and I'm gonna plane down one side until it's uh, got a 90 degree angle there, then I'm gonna just cut it to the right length, place it in there, and make some marks, and then, oh, I should probably turn the camera. Then I'm gonna place it in there, make some marks, and cut it down with the uh, skill saw. I'll just figure out how to screw it to a uh, um, sawhorse and cut it that way, probably. All right. Uh, so this here is what I'm trying to remove. Uh. Okay. Those are bits. And this plate comes up. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Now I have a larger slot to work with here. And this should be able to come up. This should be able to. Whether it wants to or not is a whole different story. Okay, so I guess that makes more sense. <laughs> okay. So. I gotta drill these rivets in. Smaller. Ah. Screw it, I mean, the boxing them anyway. Scrape all that off, come back with sandpaper, and I'm gonna epoxy that really quick. Because I don't know if I'm gonna have two hours of good enough temperatures to use epoxy, two hour epoxy again, anytime soon. So I'm just gonna clean these up and fill them in. Cut those open next season. Bed them in after I do all the painting and stuff. Same with the, the light hole. I'm gonna fiberglass that in if I get a chance. This year, if not, I'll do it in the spring. And put a different light on it. Okay. I found this one. Same stuff, but white. Oh. whitish and then uh, I'll just put some in here and then we'll stick through the cracks make sure it gets very filled up and I'm 
not worried about making it look pretty. As I said, I'm coming back and redoing this next year. A bunch more fiberglassing on here. And I used the wrong side of the stick. Doing a bunch more fiberglassing on here. As well as fresh paint. So I'm just going to try to make sure everything's filled up there. So now I'm going to leave that, get it set up for two hours. It should still be above the temperature that it works at. And then uh, when it's really set up, I'm going to probably throw a piece of tape over it like I did here. On this one, I couldn't do the big hole, but I did patch three tiny little holes. Ah, just like this. Okay, so now I have the hardware dealt with, I can think about cleaning down this piece of wood. Okay, so that was taking forever, so I just grabbed the hand plane, flattened out the side, and then I took and I did this corner. trying to match this piece here so so far I've done that edge that'll be like that and now I gotta place it in there figure out the angle to make the other side flat and then figure out where to drill the two holes and then I'll probably varnish this up real quick with some spar varnish and then install it, use some um, silicone, seal the bolts through it, and then uh, glass up the inside of the door, or the bottom of the door, or companionway, and then reinstall the keel, uh, keel winch for now. Um, <coughs> I kind of want to lift this whole thing and drop that keel next year. Just don't know how I'd do it with the space I have. Anyway, uh, I gotta put stuff away real quick. I gotta go get my kid from the bus and then back to work when I get home. Uh, so I'm here for now. Okay. So, I've gone ahead and marked the shape I need, at least the shape I hope will work. Oh, dead battery. Got these cheap batteries, let's see what this does. Oops. Oh well. Okay, so theoretically, that should fit. 
There, I still have to take lots of material off of this side. Looks like the top side's all good. Definitely don't need to take any more material off up there. Okay, so this side's good, that's awesome news. This thing is like 90% sanding. Or like 99% sanding. Okay. Even more time gone by. <laughs> headlamp in case I run into light, which I probably will. <coughs> We're gonna run this buddy heater while this resin sets up. So I'm going to go up and through the front and stick that stick to it. Then I'm going to do a bunch here, up here, <coughs> here, up here, uh, and the inside of course. Um, I think that's all for right now. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And then... Yeah, from there I'll be able to put my bow eye back on and the screw for the um, for the four stay support. I've got my four stays put away, uh, like the actual four stay supports, but I've got the screw I'm going to put back in that hole. Um, turn this down now. should be it for tonight yeah okay now that I've been back and forth 20 times because I keep forgetting different things I forgot this little hole uh, Theoretically, I should be ready to mix resin and lay glass. So that'll be 36 drops of hardener. I gotta set boards. This well, I'm at it as well. Six drops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thirty six drops. Dabbing. Dab, 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 dab. Yeah. A 
I'll come back because I want to get some done on the other sheets. Yeah, other repairs before this glazes over. Um, uh, that's here, I guess. So, this stuff still tacky. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. We got a bunch of glass put on here. It's not pretty, but it's fine. I'm gonna sand it down and then I'm probably gonna put more on anyway. Uh, this stuff says two hours to cure enough to sand. Uh, I've got my heater going there and a heater going here, so hopefully we'll be around that two hours anyway. Yeah, 16 there, but it's probably like 20 degrees right over here. Um, and then yeah, battery's about to die here on this GoPro. But then after, I'm gonna throw a little more glass on this piece. Really tough to get in these corners. Oops. So I'm gonna sand it down a bunch more. Flatten it out on this side. Sand it down a bunch on this side, and then build it up a little more. And then same with these. This folding it over was tough. I'm gonna have to sand that down. Lay a few more flat sheets. I did it better on this side. Still probably do the same thing again though. Sand this side down. Throw a few more sheets on. I sanded down quite a quite a ways, so I've got room to put a few more layers on. I think two hours will be good. These are already getting hard. I like that. Excellent. Uh, I mean, it was tough to work with because it was going hard pretty quick, but. Uh, oh shoot, I got something down here. Oh uh, yeah, this is looking good too. That stuff's still much more wet. I think I went a little harder, or a little um, gung ho on the hardener on the last couple um, batches there. Alright, yeah. So after some sanding, these will look great. Uh, a little bit lower light. Oh, now it's gonna. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's just gonna be blown out either way. But yeah, it's gonna look great after some sanding. Um, it's a low spot at the bottom there. I'm gonna have to fill in. Like I said, probably have to go over a few more spots. But the main thing, let me pop this back on my head. Main thing, so I believe I can do this now. Yes, my companion way is now straight. Awesome. And yeah, so now that one was tough. I'm gonna have to do lots of work and probably some fairing on this one, but we'll get it right. Sand a bunch of the excess down like I did on this one. And then uh, hit it with some more glass, hit the front one with some glass. Really work on this one a lot. <coughs> yeah. This one's tough. But we'll get there. But I think I'm gonna call that part one for now. Uh, I'm sure there's lots of footage here for me to sift through tonight. Um, yeah, I'm gonna throw my gear in the house and throw a new propane on here. And oh, that's probably why that front one isn't cured yet. It's probably pretty cold up front. Yeah, so I'm going to do that and then probably come out, lock up, and head to bed soon. Alright, uh, hit the thumbs up, hit the thumbs down, hit subscribe, uh, check me out on Patreon, um, 
I don't know, I'll probably... I have nobody on Patreon currently. If I do get people to start actually jumping on Patreon there, I'll probably start releasing videos a few days early there for now or something. I don't know. Join and give me some ideas. Anyway, have a good one, guys. Step one. Wake up, really gonna rise with the sun. Step two. Get some good, some food in you. Step three. You grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four. Everybody just do your thing. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Yeah. Set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.